This problem simply asks us to sketch on a cube the particular plane that is indicated by the Miller indices. In this case, 0, 1, 2, and 2, 1, 1. What we need to do is take this in reverse of the um, procedure to get the Miller indices. So take 0, 1, 2, and take the inverse of each of those. So the inverse of 0 is, of course, undefined. This just means that it either is going to meet at all points, or not meet at all, not meet any of them. And essentially, that means it's parallel. The inverse of 1 is 1, and the inverse of 2 is 1 half. So we know by this, these indices that our plane is parallel to the x-axis. And we'll intersect the y-axis at 1 and intersect the z-axis at one half. So, this is parallel to the x-axis, so it will never meet it. This particular plane will never meet the x-axis. If we move it down a half from z, it will meet the entire x-axis. Or if we move it, um, move it back one uh, in the y direction, it will meet it uh, on every point. For d, we are asked to sketch a two one bar one plane. Take the inverse of each, we have 1 half, negative 1, and 1. These again are the intercepts for each of the planes. So on the x plane, we have a intercept of 1 half. Sorry. On the y axis, we have an intercept of minus 1. And for the z-axis, we have an intercept of 1. So this plane looks something like that. That's all there is to that one.